I want to demonstrate how you can record a cash or check donation for a mission trip. In this case, this is from someone who is not going on the trip, but they are supporting one of those who are going. So this is the person who's going. He's registered. I want to record the person who is giving the donation, so I want to add them to the organization, but as a sender. So I go to the Senders tab, select the arrow, and add sender. Search for the person. When you find them, you select their name, and then click Commit and Add. If you did not find the person, you could add a new record right there. You click on their member type, which will be inactive for all senders for mission trips. And the green transaction button is where you'll find Add Mission Trip Support. You never add a transaction for a sender. You always add mission trip support. The person is not going on the trip, so you don't want to add the transaction for them. Now you select the goer. So this is the person that she wants the money to apply to and the amount that she's donating for the goer. And you also have the opportunity, if someone wants to donate to the trip in general, uh, they can say, I want a certain amount to go to that person, and I've got an extra 100 that I'll just put to the trip in general. And then you put the check number and add donation. Now, she doesn't have any transactions showing here because she's not going, so there's no uh, total fee and uh, balance, but you can view transactions to see this donation. All right, she's got $250 for Jack, $100 just to the trip with no goer specified. And go back to the organization, close this dialog box, and I can go back to the members, and you can see where his amount due has changed. So let's look at the transactions, and we'll see that. Previously, I was looking at just her transactions. So here's Jack's initial payment, and down here are his supporters. And you can see that Anne gave $250 to Jack. Now remember, $250 went to him. The other did not go to him, so it will not show on this page. These are only the transactions for this goer. I'm going to go to Administration, Bundles, and show you how this gets recorded so it's a contribution for the person that's donating. There's a bundle of mission type, mission trip transaction, and there's the 350. Let me go back and actually show you that. I'm going to click Open, and there are the tr two transactions, 250 for this org ID and this goer and then $100 just for that trip. So that's how simple that is, that you, can, that you can record cash or check if they do not make that payment online. Now remember, this is only available for those organizations that are set up correctly as a mission trip. There's one more thing I want to show you uh, while we're looking at the mission trip, and that is how to make an adjustment, uh, especially for mission trips. Sometimes you s set them far in advance and get people to register, and you're trying to schedule your flights and get your hotel rooms and all those expenses and you set the fee for the organization knowing that it might change. Hopefully the, um, the fee can go down. You can usually round it up and say, you know, I'm going to make it a, maybe $50 more and then I can always reduce it uh, if we get a reduced rate or if you have to, you can make it, uh, you can increase that fee. So I want to show you how you can increase the fee for everyone who's enrolled in the organization. Now, this is a small one. There are only two people, but still, you can do it with one transaction. Go to Members, select the arrow, and you want to update members. It'll tell you that it will update information for the two current members, and here you have a transaction button. You'll only have one option, and that is to make a fee adjustment. You would never want to try to uh, use one transaction to record real payments. You would have to do those on the individual's record. But this is just a fee adjustment. So this is going to apply to everybody that's registered so far. And that's two people. Notice it says a negative number increases the balance, and that's what I need to do. There was a $50 increase for each person for the hotel rooms. That's what you want to put in the description. 
So you've got an increased rate for the hotel. I'm going to add the transaction and it's completed. Now I can go to either record and I can see where that transaction occurred and it would happen on each record. So now the fee went up, so the balance due would go up. When you look at the transactions, you'll see that there is an adjustment of $50 and it would be on each person's record and each one would have the description over here under the little I for information. The message is the increased rate for the hotel. So that's how you can change the fee for the entire organization by making one transaction.